There we go. Now I see we started. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I see we started. Okay. Oh, I'm nervous. I am nervous. But we have started. I see it. Now, initially, what I was going to do is I was going to start uh, in the game on the title screen, but then it had a couple of messages that I feel like I should include. So I had to delete the, the, the tiny amount of save data that I, that I had just by starting the game, and I had to start over. But yeah, yeah, we're about to get started. I'm on the fence if I should have the chat on screen. We'll see, we'll see. But let's get started. I've wanted to play this game for a while now. I'll show it just why not. If anything happens, I'll turn it off. Yo, Metaverse? My ear is itching. So there should be a couple of messages that popped up that I feel like... Okay, there we go. All characters in this game are over the age of 18. So we good. We good with that. This game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. Individuals suffering from anxiety or depression may not have a positive experience playing this game. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh at that. I was laughing at the comment. Would you like to review review detailed content? Oh, we're already off to a bad start. Uh, which contains spoilers. Alternatively, in-game content war content warnings can be enabled in the setting menu at any time. I will not review those at this at this moment. By playing Doki Doki, you agree that you have noted the game's age rating in your region, and you consent to your exposure of highly disturbing content. I agree. So that fair warning to you guys if you don't know this game. All right. <laughs> so welcome to Doki Doki Literature Cup. Cup. Wow. This is the plus version. I've wanted to play this game for a while now. So let's see. The, uh, the day I'm playing this is on May 31st, and uh, I see here, ooh, um, yeah, um, I have them on my phone here, Th this game came out, um, yeah, uh, I I'm a bit late to playing this game, um, almost like 11 months to the day, I'm a little bit late, but hey, I got nothing to say about that. This game came out 11 months ago, and I'm only now playing it. So before anyone asks me, why aren't you playing this, this on the PC? Like, as you can tell, I am playing it on the Switch. Before anyone asks me, why aren't I playing this on the PC? Well, because I have it on Switch. And that's why. I have the game on Switch, and that's why we're playing it on Switch. I also don't know how this game's going to work with Switch. I should also mention this, I've seen the original game. Oh wow, I didn't expect that key in this song. I've seen the original game when it first came out, but I don't I I don't know what the plus is. I don't know what the new content is. And can I be honest? I bought this game on Switch primarily because I wanted the uh whatever it's called. There there are some stuff that they throw in with the game, like this. Uh, they have this uh, membership card thing. Really nothing on the back besides this. Um, got some stickers, that's nice. There's actually a note here. See, there's a note. Oop. This is actually the first time I'm opening this and yeah, I think it's a poem inside. But the biggest thing I wanted from buying the Switch version is the, the little stands. I didn't expect them to be, well, cardboard. I kind of thought these might be like acrylic stands, but I guess not. And there's also a download code, which I will not show, because, you know, I may be stupid, but I'm not an idiot. 
Not gonna show those codes. I actually, I'll be honest, I, I kind of forgot. <laughs> no, I won't show them. I'll be honest, I kind of forgot this game came with the code. So I haven't redeemed the, the code yet. So no, I will not show it off. Now, another reason before, I know, I want to get started too, but something I want to explain before I get started. You can see here, right, right here, right here. I got face cam on. I got this face cam on. Now, I want to prove to you guys, once and for all, that I am not lying when I say I cannot read. And this game is perfect for that. I, I, I haven't been accused of it yet, but I'm afraid people might say I'm only pretending I can't read. But no, I'm being genuine when I, when I say I really can't read. Alright, let's get started. We're gonna start with new game. Please enter your name. Use only letters, hyphens, or apostrophes. Uh oh, oh, I thought the, <laughs> oh my god. I thought the game crashed for a second. The, the music stopped. I thought the game crashed. Okay, I'll just enter my own name. <laughs> All right. Hey! I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious. Yep, that's oblivious. To any attention she might draw to herself. The girl is Sayori. Oh my god. Sayori, whatever. My neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making, making today. But it, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long, question mark? We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, we, sh we would, oh my god, we would oversleep more and more frequently, and when I would get tired, wait, and I would get tired of waking, wait, I'm already failing, already doing terrible, tired of waiting up. But if she's getting, getting, if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel bad. Bad? Oh my god. <sighs> feel better running, better off running away. It's too late to go back. I already got face cam on. However... I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. Ha! Ha! I overslept again. I'm not gonna do what Jack said the guy did and give him give him each a voice. I don't know if uh, I can handle that. But I caught you this time. Maybe only because I decided to stop and wait for you. <laughs> eh? You say that like you were going. Like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. Ehehehe. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled speckled with other students making their daily commute. Yo, you buying the DDLC sh uh, shiny cardboard? What shiny cardboard? You mean this? Or do you mean something else? I, feel, I think I saw in their store they do have like acrylic stands. I might be wrong about that. Have you decided on a club yet? Hell no, I haven't. A club? I told you already. I'm not, I'm really not interested in joining any clubs. This was, I was exactly the same back in high school. I didn't join no clubs. I haven't been looking either. Wait, I gotta pay attention who's, who is speaking here. That's not true. You know, I feel like the, the, the chat is a little, is, mm, let, let's push that up a little bit, right above the text box. You told me you would join a club this year, I did? I, I didn't. I didn't plan for that. 
I'm sure it's possible that I did, but in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Sayori likes to worry a little too much about me. <clears throat> and when I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Hey, hell yeah! That's exactly what I was like back in high school too. That's exactly how I am now. Uh-huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. That's already the case for me. Your happiness is really important to me, you know? And I know you're happy now, but I'd die at the thought of you becoming a neat- What? What's an N-E-E-T? In a few years because you're not used to the real world. What's a- What's an N-E-E-T? What's that? What is that? Don't make me- Wait. Don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise you'll try a little? <coughs> yeah, I guess I, I'll promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relate to her. R relate? <sighs> Relent! I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to... Want to ease her mind at least a little bit, even if she, she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. In Japanese and anime, N-E-E-T or that is an acronym for not in education, employment, or training. Well, well, I would only, I guess at the moment I would only be an E-T. Well, maybe, maybe just NT. As long as, you know, not NFT. The school day is, an ordin is as ordinary as ever. And it's, go it's over before I know it. NT, yep. After I packed up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Man, the clock is all the motivation I need. Once, that, once the clock turns to the time where the school day is over, I'm out of there. Clubs. Sayori wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I've, I, I've, I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Anime club. I don't think that was the case. I don't think my high school had that. Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming. Wait. Pause. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't have to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know... Know what? Well, you could join- wait. That you could come to my club. Sayori. Yeah? There's no way I'm going to your club. Eh, meanie. Sayori is vice president of the literature club. That does not sound appealing to me either. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. I sucked at literature in high school. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first- how's the audio by the way? I haven't checked that yet. I should probably check that just in case. Like, it'd be pretty embarrassing if this whole time I've been doing this and it sounds terrible. Oh, sounds fine to me. Audio is good. See, this is why I wasn't sure if I wanted to have the, 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 the chat visible. Because you can barely see it. You see down there? Over, over there? Down in the corner? It-, it it just blends in with the background, you can barely see it. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed a club, she inherited the title of Vice President. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. I still don't know how to spell the word guarantee. 
I still have trouble with that word. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Why don't... Wait. Why do you care so much anyway? <laughs> well, I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring a new member. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. Eh <laughs> heh Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead, or if she's so cunning as to have planned all this out. I'm already getting... My mouth is already getting dry. I have like a, a nice big pint of water here and my cup. I, I need water. Are you guys out there staying hydrated? You guys drinking water? Gotta lubricate them vocal cords. Never done this much reading. Well, probably since high school. What do you mean you're not drinking water? No, 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 no. Stop, stop what you're doing right now. Go, go drink some water. I can't tell. Oh, I already read this. I let out a long sigh. <sighs> Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake. Oh, oh my god. Cupcakes have a bad reputation right now. Well, even though it's been like a year since then. And thus, today makes... Makes... Marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. That... That really didn't age well. I... Dejectedly... Yep. Followed Sayori across the school and upstairs. A section of the school I rarely visit. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the, the classroom door. Just, just, just swings it open. Everyone, the new member is here. I told you, don't call me a new member. Eh, I glance around the room. Wow, I glance good. <laughs> Welcome to the literature. It's a pleasure meeting you. Already embarrassing myself in the presence of someone new and I'm already embarrassing myself. Sayori always says nice things about you. Oh, she does, does she? Yeah, what, what kind of what kind of stuff she she been saying about me? Seriously, you brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Ah, what a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. Welcome to the family, son. <laughs> All words escape me in the situation. I bet it would. This club is full of incredibly cute girls who are all over 18. <laughs> what are you looking at? Um, if you want to say something, say it. So sorry, Natsuki. Hmm. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is the one I don't recognize. This music always rocks. Girl 3 or Girl 1? <laughs> her small figure makes her look like a first year student. She is also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. Excuse me. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori says that quietly into my ear. Oh. Wish, uh, wish they told me that before. Then turns back towards the other girls. Anyways, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Ooh, smarts, huh? Don't say things like that. Now, you if you guys know me, you know I am a bumbling idiot. So something that I look for in a woman is smarts, because let's be honest, I'm going to get myself killed one day. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with, with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Ah, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again. Monica smiles sweetly. Wait, there is nothing- wait. There is nothing behind you right now? If there is a hell centipede or spider behind you, shall we let you know or not? I've only ever seen one centipede in this room, and there was a spider in the corner that I don't know what happened. What happened to. Also, something I never really realized about the chair I always use, I, I guess the, the little plastic wrap here never got taken off, and, well, 
Yeah, that, that, that's just that's just sitting there. I, I don't know what the, the painting is behind me. It's just to fill up the wall. <clears throat> it just dripped all over my pants. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Mon Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... Right, hits you right here. You too, Monica? Come sit down. We made room for you at the table, so you can sit next to me or Monica. There's, there's, there, there's plenty of room. It's just the five of us here. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Is now a laptop gamer. That's right. All, all you see here is a laptop. I don't have a PC. Sorry, I got a little too excited. Then how about I make some tea as well? Oh, what kind of, what kind of tea? Is it green tea or jasmine tea? Those are the ones I like the most. The girls have a few desks arranged in form, what, to form a table. As Sayori mentioned, it's been widened so that there is no. There is one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs the wrapped tray. I almost said warped. Wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Which waifu do you like the most in this game? I'll mention that in due time. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. That's right. That's right. You sit next to the people you're most comfortable with. That's exactly what I would do. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? By the way, how do I, um... I, I see down there, underneath the text bubble or whatever, there's history, auto, save. How do I access those? Do I hit, like, plus? I don't want to do anything and mess it up. I am playing on a controller right now. Ta-da! What? <laughs> Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. E-girl. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces. I almost said pierces. Little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. Eh <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry and take one. Before I change my mind and say, no, none for you, all for me, all mine. Uh, Sayori grabs the first one, then Monica, I follow. It's delicious! Sayori talks with her mouth full and, and has already managed to get icing on her face. She, she, she spat out chunks as she was saying that as well. I turned the cupcake around with my fingers, looked at it from the best angle to take a bite. I, I just examined the whole thing, what an exquisite little, you know... Relic! I must I must determine where to take a first bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. He meant use your ego voice when reading is what do you want me to do? Put my fingers put put put, put my fingers together like this and make oo woo sounds? Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite. There's nothing more awkward than when someone makes you food. And then they just stare at you, just waiting for you to take a bite, just to see your reaction. I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. What, why are you thanking me? It's not like I made them. <laughs> I think she almost let that out. and Maybe she bought them. Haven't, haven't, I, haven't I heard this somewhere before? Made them for you or anything? Oh, that's what she meant. I thought, I thought she was going to say, it's not like I made them myself. And then she let it slip like, oops, I wasn't supposed to say that. I didn't need them to know I bought these. Eh, I thought you technically did. Sayori said, well, maybe. But, but not for, you know, you, dummy. All right, all right. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dis pff, dismiss the conversation. Yuri returned to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places the tea set in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. 
You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Eh. First of all, I don't read. As you can see. As you can tell, I never liked reading. I don't like my tea too hot, because otherwise I can't drink it, because it's too hot. I like it, you know, somewhat warm, at least, at least cool enough to actually consume. And I see a light outside. There, there is a window, window right next to me. Vaggy, new design or old design? Okay, you know what? Let me just uh, also mention this. The day I'm playing this is my sister's birthday, and she went out for dinner, so I don't know when she's coming back. She might be back right now. So if she opens the door and my dogs bark, then you know why. For those who are wondering what he just meant, uh, this was literally posted. Um, I don't know if you guys can hear that as well. The water's running. This was posted about two and a half, two and a half, two and a half hours ago. The the new Vaggy design for Hasbin Hotel. Oops, got a, got a notification on Instagram. So if I can get that a good angle, this is what he's talking about. I don't know. I, I at the moment I kind of prefer her old design. Because this new design kind of reminds me of a bowling alley. <laughs> I'm not going to sugarcoat it. That's exactly what it reminds me of. Alright, let's continue. Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Eh, that's not. That's not ins insulted. Yuri looks away. <clears throat> I meant that, you know. Wait, what'd she say? I forgot what she said. I believe you. Well, tea and- oh, right, she was asking who doesn't love tea with reading. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for, for me, but at least I enjoy tea. How do you guys like your tea? Do you like sugar or like, what, milk? For me, I, I used to like my tea just the way it is, no sugar, no anything else. I don't know, I, I really like milk tea now. <clears throat> not too sweet, though. Yuri fi f finally, Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. I don't know why I did that just now. When she, when it said raise an eyebrow, I just imagined the rock, you know. So, what made you consider the literature club, girls? I mean, um, I was afraid of this question. Um, uh, I don't have an answer. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was particular, practically, not particularly, practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed really happy here, so that's okay, don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader in the debate club last year? <coughs> I'm sorry, I got so much gas. Ahaha, <laughs> well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all of the politics around ma the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and, and how to prepare for events. <clears throat> I need to pour myself more water. It, it is getting... I've never read this much before. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. <clears throat> Monica is... is... Monica really is a great leader. Uh, Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club. That's fine by me. If it's just me and these four, then no problem. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. Monica, 7 out of 10. 
You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival much more, that much more important. Yuri is 8 out of 10. I'm confident that we can all really grow this literature, this, this club before we graduate. I don't know, would you guys prefer a club that's just jam-packed? Because I feel like if it's a, a nice little small group and it's all your friends, wouldn't that be a little more fun? Who knows, maybe, maybe a nice big club full of many people, you make more friends. I don't know, maybe in my mind. Alright, we got a nice we got a nice uh nice view right here now. Maybe yeah, may, you could you could make more friends if there are more people in the club, but then again if it's a nice small group and it's all your friends, then you don't have to meet anyone new. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. That's a big word. The What's that supposed to mean? The line one, Natsuki, is 9.5 out of 10? Okay. You, you into them short girls, aren't you? Much... Not much. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Me! I'm kidding. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they were all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. And it's a guy, too! Well, uh, Natsuki didn't seem that that uh, excited about a guy joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So Angus, what kind of things do you like to read? <clears throat> Not hentai. Well, uh, concerning how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga? I mutter... <laughs> I mutter to myself, uh, half joking. Uh, I like to read <coughs> manga. Natsuki head, Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. Someone say manga. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. N not much of a reader, I guess. Yep. Well, that can change. I doubt it. What am I saying? Oh, I said that. I thought she said that. I need to pay attention. Who who is speaking? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. <clears throat> I'm just looking at his comments there. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her fingers. She, so she, she, she just does this. Like, let me think. What do I like? What do I like to read? My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in, in such a foreign world is equally uh, uh, impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. You can tell by the way I read that I can't read. But you know, I like I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. <sighs> Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? not a bad point. Anyways, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, I read a horror book. I read a horror book once. I desperately grasp, grasp something I can relate to the minimal, at the minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you? I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think, or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? <clears throat> well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. 
That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? what What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looks like you were working on a poem called Don't Say It Out Loud! And give that back! Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems. Everything you do is just so just as cute as you are. Sayori sidles. Is this Siddles or Sidles? I think it's Sidles. Sidles up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulder. I'm not cute! Natsuki, you write your own poems? Eh? Well, I guess sometimes. Why do, why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? N no! Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah, not a very confident writer yet? I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities, I almost messed that up, and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. I wonder if my family's on the other side of the door, just listening in like what the hell is he doing in there. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Isn't this fun, you know? Instead of me actually playing a game, you watching gameplay, you're more here to listen to me read. Because <clears throat> I don't really even need to do much with my controller, I just press one button to progress the dialogue. Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Uh, I guess it's the same for you. For Yuri. <clears throat> Oh, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay! I have an idea, everyone. Natsuki and Yuri looked quizzically at Monica. Qu yep, quizzically. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Hell no! Then, next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. Not a chance. That way, everyone is even. Um, yeah, let's do it. Plus, now that we have a new member, I never said that, I think I think it will help us get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Angus? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. Eh, what's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. <clears throat> Sayori may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and um, I lose my train of thought. I immediately regret everything I said. <laughs> All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But, but, I'm sorry, I thought, hmm, uh, you all... Ooh, how can I... How can I disappoint four girls? It's hard... It's, it hurts... It's hard enough to disappoint one, let alone four! I'm def... I'm defenseless against these girls. I have to go to the bathroom. What? Bitch, that didn't even rhyme. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? <clears throat> That's it, if writing poems is the price I have to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls... Right, okay, I've decided it then. Just by one glance at all of you, I'll join the literature club. For no other reason besides one, two, three, four. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Yes, I'm so happy! Oh, it's Patrick's poem? I thought you were saying that. I thought you were saying, I gotta go to the bathroom, I'll be right back. I remember now, yeah, you're right. Alright, my bad. You're right, that is Patrick's poem, I remember that. And then he got pelted with a bunch of dodgeballs. Dang it, Patrick, how many times do I have to tell you? This is gym class! And he also ate the paper, too. Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. H hey You really did scare me for a moment. Maybe that was the plan. 
Maybe I planned to disappoint you just to make you more happy that I'm joining. Am I that evil? Am I that cunning? If you really just came for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. Then let's make it official. Welcome to the literature club. Welcome to our club. Welcome to our club. I'm not going to do the rest of that. Ah, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. That, honestly, in reality, that meeting would have taken like 10 minutes. So, not much of a meeting. I extended it to like 40 minutes. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Welcome Squidward, welcome Squidward. <laughs> Monica looks over at me once more. I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. Hee <laughs> hee. Yeah. I can really impress the class star Monica with my media. Wait, can I really blah 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 mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri and Natsuki, Natsuki, oh my God, clean up their food. Natsuki. Hey, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? Sure. That's right, Sayori and I never walk home together anymore because she's all she's always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! <laughs> With that, the two of us depart to the club room. Depart the club room and make our way home. The what The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori. Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in the literature club? Hell yeah, if it means spending time with these four. Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. That's exactly what we want. At least that's probably like the, the most logical thing a guy would think if they were in this position in high school. I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure, I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight, which I didn't agree to, but now I'm stuck doing. <laughs> Pick words you think your favorite club member will like. Something good might happen with whoever likes your poem the most. Oh my god, uh, this is the part of the game that I was most afraid of. Actually, you know, doing something instead of just reading everything. <clears throat> Why is fireworks in purple? So how do I, okay, so I just use the d-pad to choose. So, who, what? Um... Okay. Let me turn down the sound of my headphones for a second. Okay, this is a good moment for me to explain this. So I did say I saw the original game. So I know what kind of twists and stuff happens in this game. I just don't know what the new content is. But just because I know what's coming up in this game, doesn't mean I re really remember it that well. I saw this game, when did this game come out? 2017? So it's been five years since I've seen this game. Just because I know the twists, the plot twists and whatever, doesn't mean I really remember everything. So, we're, this is more like a reminder, a refresher for me. So, who who do I want to impress with my, with my literature skills? Um... I gotta pick 20 words? I'm kind of feeling tenacious. Um, inferno. <laughs> Comfort, party, forgive, universe. Secretive, parfait. Unless that's literally parfait. I think the T is silent. Um, Uh-oh. I guess it really doesn't matter. I don't know. Uh, inferno. Fickle, whisper, swimsuit, bouncy. 
uh, poof, sh uh, pure, awesome family passion Valentine. Uh, jumpy, oh god. Portrait, bed, flea, games, feather, promise, silly, papa. You know, something I, I actually didn't think about before earlier today when I was, you know, preparing to play this game. There is one scene in this game that I'm kind of afraid to show because I'm afraid Twitch's TOS might give, might give me like a ban because of it. <clears throat> but hopefully it's fine. Hopefully. It's a game after all. Uh, insight... Eff efflugent? What the hell is efflugent? Playground, melody, sadness, disaster, shiny, shiny? I mean, I'm feeling either shiny, you know why, or efflugent. I don't know what, if, I don't know what an efflugent is. Let's go with Effluent, just because I don't know what that is. Heaven Sent, Jump, Beauty, Dark, Sparkle, Wrath, Summer, Climax, Mouse, or Eternity. <clears throat> I don't know, I, I think I want to go with Eternity. Fluffy, Anxiety, Shopping, Raindrops, Socks, Kiss, Nature, Lust, Ribbon, or Fun. Well, oh that's why the word is in purple, that's, that's the thing I was over. You would think I would have noticed that. Uh, um, mm, let's do raindrops. Why not? Lily, lily pop. I almost said lily pop. Um, uh, vitality. Why not? Spinning, strawberry, prayer, heartbreak, dazzle, warm, waterfall, bunny, desire, and nightgown. Nightgown. Um, oh, that's a heartbeat. Did I say heartbreak? I like strawberries, so let's go strawberries. Uncanny, color, laugh, romance, fireflies, death. I'm only halfway. I gotta speed this up. Uh, uh, um, uh, 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 romance. Um, uh, um, uh, chocolate. Why not? Destiny, incapable, precious, rainbow, vibrant, uncontrollable, scars, pout, scars. Heart, philosophy, ooh, anime. Shame, friends, covert, variance, meager, misery, disoriented, contamination, whirlwind, or after image. Horror? Question. Vi what is that? Sticky, existence, music. Entropy email. Um, let's do this. I don't know what this is. Doki Doki. Watch my poem be absolute trash because I'm just picking random stuff. Um, broken. Ay, I, I noticed Sayori was bouncing on that one. Um, massacre. Lipstick. Intellect. Intellectual, hair, milk, um, disarray. I don't know. Ugh. Hi again. Glad you came back. Wait, glad you came back? Where did I get that from? Glad to see you didn't run away to <laughs> on us. Nah, don't worry. How can I how can I deny the the lovely sights that I can see? The the beautiful views. This might be a little strange for me, but at least uh, but I at least keep my word as a respectable person should. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I could be at home taking a nap after school, but uh, now I'm here. That's a, that's what I did every day after high school. After every day of high school after the school was school day was done I went home and I took a nap until dinner time and then after dinner is then when I did my homework I was the last to come in so everyone else is already hanging out my ear is itching again thanks for keeping your promise I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a 
Commitment. I why did I almost say community? Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on. Like he deserves any slack. Sayori told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. That's right. It's not like I really won't need to hide that. And last year too! I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take any take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the classroom. <laughs> Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and Manga. Manga is literature! I can get behind that. Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Angus will give us his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with busy work without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. Sayori, that's because your room is so messy, it's distracting. <laughs> that's right, that's right. I know what that one's a reference to. That, that's the, uh, the, the Simpsons thing. My, is it? Pretty sure it's the Simpsons. My face is up here. I've made my choice. You, uh, and you almost set your house on fire once. Is that so? <laughs> Yep, I remember Homer saying that. My eyes are up here. I've made my choice. I feel like... I don't want to say I want to use that one day. Because I'm positive I will get slapped. You two are really good friends, aren't you? You might be... Wait, I might be a little jealous. How come? You and Angus can become good friends too. I'd like that. <laughs> uh, um... S Sayori... Hmm? Yo, yo, character I'm playing as, shut up! She's trying to do us a solid, she's trying to do us a favor here! As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she's just put me into. My nose is itching for some reason. Oh, oh! Yuri even brought you something today, you know? Why did I have such a hard time reading that? W wait Sayori! Eh? Me? You brought me a gift? It's really nothing. What is it? N never mind. Sayori made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Uh, what do I do? Eh, I'm sorry Yuri, I wasn't thinking. You ever blab out things that you immediately regret saying? I do that, unfortunately, all the time. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue the situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. That's right, nobody ever does this to me. So that's, I would feel the exact same way. Nobody surprise gives me gifts. I'm not asking for it, I'm just saying it, that just doesn't happen. Especially to me. So if it did ever happen to me, I would feel appreciative. Regardless of what it is. Unless you literally hand me a turd. Yeah, I won't make it a big deal if you don't want it to be. Alright. Well, here. Yura reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book so I thought you might enjoy. That is very thoughtful. It's a short read, should it keep so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. <clears throat> and we could, you know, know what? Discuss it! if you want it. Yes. How was this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I'm lying. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I'm gonna be done by next year. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everything's settled, everyone's settled in, I expect Monica to kick off with some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. I have no idea where I'm going to end this, by the way. 
Sayori and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. That was a big one too. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression. Like she was waiting for this chance. And when you finish the game, I'm going to be here for all night. I keep spilling it. <clears throat> Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. What was the point of that? I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a little bit more. But at the same time, I would feel bad for distracting her from her reading. I catch a glimpse of the cover of her book. It seems like the same book that she lent me. She bought two copies? More than that, she seems to be on the first few pages. Ah! Crap! Anyways, <laughs> I think she noticed me looking at her. She sneaks another glance at me and our eyes meet for a split second. But that only makes her hide her face deeper in her book. S sorry, I was just spacing out. I, I, I was just spacing out, you know, staring at you. I, I stare at you. I stare at you and I just space out. I mutter, I mutter this, sensing I made her uncomfortable. Oh, it's fine. I was, I was, if I was focused, then I probably wouldn't have noticed it in the first place. But I'm just rereading a bit of this, so that's that's the book you gave me, right? Mm-hmm. I wanted to reread th some of it, not for any particular reason. Just curious, how come you have two copies of the same book? Ah, well, when I stopped at the bookstore yesterday. Ah, that's not what I meant. I mean, I just happened to buy two of the two of them. Ah, I see. I, I just happened to accidentally grab two copies, scan both of them at the checkout, and not even notice I got charged double for what I was assuming to be one book. There's something fairly obvious here that Yuri isn't telling me, but I decide to let it go. I'll definitely start reading it soon. That's a lie. I'm glad to hear it. Once it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. It's a very engaging and relatable story. Is that so? What's it about anyway? Well, mm, Yuri closes the book and scans her eyes over the back. The book is titled Portrait of Markov, Markov, whatever. There's an ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. That's a book to a cult right there. I just wanted to make sure I don't accidentally give anything away. <clears throat> Basically, it's about this girl in high school who moves in with her long lost younger sister. But as soon as she does so, her life gets really strange. She gets targeted by these people who escape from, an, from a human experiment pr uh, prison. And while her life is in danger, she needs to desperately choose who to trust. No ma Nobody. You don't trust anybody there, not even your sister, because the, the description just said long lost. You don't know what she's been up to. No matter what she does, well, maybe trust the police. Which might be questionable, too. No matter what she does, she ends up destroying most of her relationships, and her life starts to fall apart. How is that relatable? That's kind of... That's kind of dark, isn't it? Yuri made it sound like I was going to be an, it was going to be a nice story. So that dark turn came from nowhere. <laughs> Yuri gently giggles all of a sudden. Are you not a fan of this sort of thing? No, that's not it. I mean, I can definitely enjoy those kinds of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri is into those things. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that those kinds of stories, they're, cha they're changing, 
They challenge you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen to not just... Wait, ha... When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil... But because they have their own goals, or their own philosophy that they believe in. Then suddenly, when you thought you relate to the protagonist, they're made out to be naive... Wait, to be the naive one for letting their one-sided morals interfere with the villain's plans. I was about to say, it sounded like Aaron Yeager for a second. I'm, I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's alright then. I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let thing when when I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. Which that's fine. I'm a great listener as long as <clears throat> never mind. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please stop me if I start talking too much. That's I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. Correct. That's the correct thing to say in this moment. It's a literature club after all. Correct. Very correct things to say if you're in this position. Well, that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading it, right? Y you don't have to. Aha, uh -huh. what are you saying? <laughs> what are you saying? Just a moment ago, you said you were looking forward to it. I got you there, didn't I? Let me just get the book. I quickly retrieved the book that I had pulled in put put into my bag. All right, it's fine if I sit here, right? I slip into the seat next to Yuri's. Ah, yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive big word. Amaze I can read that. It's not that I don't want you to. So that means you do want me to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That's it. Reading is... That's it. Reading in company with someone. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Ugh. I opened the book and started the prologue. Imagine if I was in a literature club, halfway through reading, everything is dead silent and I just let out a loud belch, none of the girls would be interested in me. I soon understand why Yuri, what Yuri means about reading in, in company. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulders as I read. Back then, in school, in elementary school, when the teacher would tell us it's time to read for like half an hour. I remember there were maybe cases where the teacher would walk around. Man, that was, that felt awkward. It's not particular, it's not a particularly bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri is in the corner of my eye. I realized that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. Yo, yo, the puzzle pieces are coming together. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. I was just... Yuri, you really apologize a lot, don't you? Are you Canadian? I'm only saying that because I am. <laughs> you know that joke where Canadians apologize for everything? Oh, I'm sorry for uh, cutting off. Let's get back to the story. I I'm so sorry. Let me just uh, continue. Here, this should work, right? I slide into them DMs. I'm kidding. I slide my desk until it's up against Yuri's, then hold my book but uh, more between the two of us. I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Just, just, just. You know, I realize sometimes I do hand motions that you guys can't really see because the camera's not <laughs> not low enough. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we each lean... Wait, once we each lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. 
It feels like my left arm is all the is in the way. So I so instead I use my right hand to hold the open book. VR DDLC plus plus when hand motions we can't see sus. I don't have it with me. If I did, I would show you guys something. That would honestly make it more suspect. Okay, I'll just say it, because why not? What I was going to show you, if I had it with me, was a bottle of lotion. Now, don't get any ideas now. Why do I have a bottle of lotion with me? No suspect reason. Look, sometimes when your hands be dry, or your face gets dry, you just need to put on some lotion. You know, you just gotta moisturize sometimes. I don't have it with me. I think it's, uh, I think it's upstairs. You know what I do have with me, though? In my very, my head, my, my wire is stuck. You know what I do have with me, though? My gaming table is an absolute mess. Uh, I, I think this arrived last week, but I was just too lazy to put it away. Uh, this showed up last week, my, uh, my Squid Game Funko Pop. Yeah, so this showed up last week, and I've been too lazy to put it away. What else do I have? I have my uh, Zelda Amiibo here. And I have my Rivali's Amiibo. Why? Because Breath of the Wild. I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. The worst father, oof. Hey, the man tries. He tries his best. Ah! A change of scenery for once. Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. You didn't need, you didn't need to explain it in that much detail. She's also sitting on the chair with her butt and leaning on the back of the chair with her back. She's also looking down with her eyeballs on the words on the page. You didn't need to go into all that detail. You could have just said she was holding the other, the other side of the of the book. I do the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. <clears throat> the way I... Oh my god. <clears throat> really gotta drink more water. I think I drank like four cups of water already. That is how much water I drank this whole time. This thing was full since I played, since I started playing. You guys out there are drinking water too, right? I put that on the floor because there's no room. That way I turn a page and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flips to her side. But in holding it like this, we're huddled even closer than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. Man, forget the book. Yo, in this in this situation, forget the book! The book's the least of my worries. It's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face, and she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Eh? To turn the page. Ah, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted by your beauty for a second. I glance over at Yuri's face again, and our eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. <laughs> Cap, not face. Yo, Imagine not face. Imagine uh, if I was in this position, you know, like, female, right beside me. And I just let out a huge burp, right in her face. At that moment, I'll just be like, I'll, I'll just like, let myself out. L let me just like, leave the club for the day, and just walk of shame out. You're not as used to reading, right? Hell no, I am not. I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. You, you guys ever seen that, I think it's a TikTok, where the, the person tries to show her friend something on the phone, like, are you done reading it yet? <clears throat> I tell you, when people do that to me, it takes me a good while to read what they're showing me. It's probably the least I can do. Since you've been so patient with me. Yeah, thanks. 
We continue reading. She's gonna be she's gonna be stuck on these two pages for like 20 minutes as I try to as I try to read through them. You know, I actually timed myself. I think it was seventh grade. Uh, I think we had like 30 minute reading periods. So I tested myself. I genuinely read. I know that's shocking. I genuinely read to time myself how lo how long. Wait, no. How far I would get in the amount of time. 30 minutes. I timed myself. I read 10 pages. Now I know people who would read like 30 pages in half an hour, and here my slow ass is reading 10 pages in half an hour. Imagine how long it takes me to finish a whole book. Yuri no longer asked me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume she finished the uh, finishes the page before me, so I turn it by my own vi volition. I think I said that right. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning e each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently letting go of the page. What? Letting it. Flutter. Flutter over to her side as she catches it under her thumb. Hey, Yuri? This might be silly, th uh, might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. You think so? How does she? Well, I just imagine, she just sounds cute, so I just imagine a cute person and I picture you. Real smooth. I don't know if that's smooth or not. Well, I guess she's, uh, she's more blunt in a lot of ways. But she also second guesses all of the things that she says and does. Like she's afraid she'll do something wrong. It's not like I can see into your head or anything. But they're kind of reminiscent of some of your mannerism. I see. <clears throat> That's probably a terrible thing to have in common with her. Oh god, I offended her. That's what my dumbass gets for opening my mouth. Uh, that's so embarrassing that you think that way. W wait Oh no, I, I, t I speak to a female and this is what happens. I didn't mean it in a bad way or anything. Sorry, I really didn't know you were self-conscious about that sort of thing. I guess I... I guess I more meant that it's kind of cute. Ah, uh, ah, you were saying, wait, what were you saying all of a sudden? I, okay, everyone. Oh my God. Oh, geez. It's about time that we share today's poems with each other. Oh shit. I forgot about that. We might not have enough time if we wait too long. Yes. Prolong it. I don't want to do it. Yuri exhales, uh, spares spared from finishing her thought is that all right yuri is something crawling up my leg every time i get like a tingle on my leg i'm afraid a bug is crawling up it because i had that once i think there was a one time i was brushing my teeth i felt something on my leg i i, I just brushed it off thinking it was whatever it just kept on happening so i looked down on my leg there was a spider crawling up my leg and i freaked out you look kind of down I'm sorry if you haven't been looking forward to this. Ah, that it's not. It's fine. It's not, because I wasn't looking forward to it. Yuri releases her hand from the book, causing it to close on top of my thumb. It's like, pfft, ah, my thumb, my thumb. You, you just broke my thumb. I guess I'll do some more reading tonight. No, I won't. I will not. Or would you prefer I only read with you? Um, I guess you don't have to have too much of a preference either way. Or I don't have, whatever. In that case, I'll read a little more tonight. She's like, shit, why did I say that? I'll be mo It'll be more fun to read with you after it picks up a bit, you know? <sighs> so much gas. It's because I'm talking so much. In that case, feel free to finish the first two chapters in your own time. Great, I'm going to be done them by two weeks. 
I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off in the book. Then slip it back into my bag. That's what a paper... What's it called? A, book, a bookmark. A paper clip? I almost said a paper clip. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Uh... Unfortunately, I did. Yeah. My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, now that everybody... Now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share share to with? I can't wait! Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayori is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn... What? Sayori's is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn torn from a spiral notebook. I get the I get the torn out of a spiral notebook part. What's a what's a loose leaf? On the other on the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. It's gold. It, there's light shining from it. The blinding it's blinding me. The beautiful handwriting! Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly... Yeah, I read that right. Reluctantly... Reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself, even though I really want to stop my hand from reaching in my bag and pulling out that piece of paper. Who should I read my poem to first? Uh, well, it doesn't really matter if I'm going to read it to everyone. Well, we spent so much time with her already, let's start off with Yuri. Yuri seems the most experienced, so I should start with her. I can trust her opinion to be fair. As Yuri reads the poem, I notice her eyes lighten. Exceptional! Eh? What was that? D did you say that out- Wait, did I say that out loud? Yuri first covers her mouth. She's like, Oh, did I say that out loud? But then ends up covering her whole face like, Oh jeez, why did I say that? Uh... He's going to hate me. Did she say that out loud too? You really didn't do anything wrong, Yuri. Eh? That's... I guess you're right. What am I getting so nervous for? <laughs> Yuri takes a breath. <sighs> so... What kind of writing experience do you have? Uh, yeah, about that. You, uh, your use of imaginary, I imaginary, imagery, and metaphors indicates you've written a lot of poetry before. Really? I just bullshitted this whole thing. Wow, that's a huge compliment coming from you. This is actually my first time, really. Huh? Yuri stares at me blankly. Then looks at my poem again. We could do something else, you know, that's also my first time. No, I'm so Stop! Well, I already know that. Wait, I know that. I just meant, um... Yuri trails off, unable to find an excuse. She traces her finger along the words of the poem, as, as if breaking it down more thoroughly. Yeah, okay. This is the reason I... Wait, this is the reason I was able to tell. Now that I take a second look at it, and truly look at it, this thing is garbage! It's just that there are s specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate f from the topic matter, and they form fit the two together. In the wait, the end result is that both the style and the expre expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone. And she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can blame. Wait, you can be blamed for. 
There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not that, wait, not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. I've never written a poem in my life. I might just take, wait, it, it might, it might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you val- yeah, valuable feedback. Why did I almost say visible? Natsuki can be a little- wait, can be a little bit biased though. Biased? How? Um, well, never mind. It shouldn't- wait, I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry, it's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. Oh boy, here we go. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreaming, dr dreamily. As if, wait, as if that's a rare opportunity for her. Take a picture, why don't you? Which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Okay, oh my god, it's in cursive. Holy shit. Uh, Ghost Under the Light. Okay, the... I can't even read the second word. The last... It's no wonder I couldn't read it, it's so small. Ghost Under... This is much better. Ghost Under the Light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate... Wait, beneath the amber glow bathing or it should be bathing not bathing wouldn't make sense it must be this one oh my god the last remaining street light to have withstood the test of time the last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue green Blue green, what is that? I can't tell what that is. Hue? Blue green hue of the future. I bathe. Calm, breathing air of the present, but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. That's it, right? Extraordinary! I'm sorry, I have such terrible handwriting. Hell no, I just can't read cursive, but your handwriting was beautiful. <laughs> you can read, just not words. I think, I, I think in that sentence, you, you added the word read. I think it should have just stopped at you can, and that's it. I wasn't thinking that at all. Uh, but it, uh, but it took you a long time to read. Well, that's that's just because of cursive. Well, I don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Eh? That's a relief. You know, I feel like I have atrocious handwriting. I don't think I have an example somewhere. But I actually get a lot of people that tell me my handwriting actually is kind of neat. But I look at my own handwriting and I think this looks terrible. Also, I liked the poem. I didn't really know what it meant, but yeah, it sounds great. Even though it's short, like me, it was really descriptive. You know something that I got told recently? I got told Moist Critical is, what, 5'3? I thought the man was 5'6. Because I know I said a while ago that I should be the same height as him. That's because I thought he was 5'6, but no, I got told he was 5'3. And I didn't look it up. I thought I was the same height as him, because I thought I thought he was the same height as me. If that even made sense. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. That's no offense to him. You know, he's he's like a thousand times more of a man than I am. It wasn't too short. It wasn't too short, question mark. I usually write longer poems. 
not at all. Sometimes, sorry, my back is itching. Sometimes shorter is better. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest, since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Still got your moist critical comic? Yes, I do. What, what was it call, called again? God Slap, that's it. God Slap. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? Hoo hoo. I almost thought that said Hulu. Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all. Really? I must have totally missed that point. Don't say that. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. <clears throat> but remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. Oh, this is so much reading. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn, putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. Do I have to share this poem with the three other girls? Oh my god, this is going to take so long. That's impressive! Eh? It's nothing, really. Yours was impressive too, so... Nah! If anything, I could probably learn a thing or two from you. You think so? Yeah, of course. Ah! You know, I was really nervous about doing all this. But in the end, I enjoyed it. I'm going to keep doing my best for you. Alright, um... You know what, she mentioned Natsuki, so let's do Natsuki. Let's see what's... Let, let's she? Let's see what she was saying about Natsuki being... What'd you even say? Biased, that's it. Well, it's about... Wait, well, it's about what I expected from someone like you. What? That's a little blunt. Well, excuse me, princess. <laughs> it's not like I said it was bad. I just didn't... Inv it just didn't invoke any emotions. So basically... It's not cute enough for your tastes. Do you think? Wait. Do you want to get smacked? I'll pass. Sigh. Well, anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. Not that you'll like it. Oh boy, here we go again. Okay, it's not in cursive this time, and I can read it. Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. Horses can race. Owls can seek. Cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. Okay, I didn't I didn't make any mistakes here. I don't think I did. Yeah, I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. I don't know what the hell it meant, but you know, it was short, it was readable, and that's what I like about it. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because. Everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all s oh god, I hate that word. And stuff. Now about to hear me say it out loud. At least not at least not this time. I said it before. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. You and I both. I, I, I drank all this water. I kind of have to go to the bathroom. But I can hold it. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. I agree. S you, you tried. You tried. You tried. I had to I had to see what you were you wrote first. I had to sound it out of my head and then I noticed. I noticed. I, I I see you. I see you. I know what you tried there. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. 
But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts even more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess... I guess more went into that than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro! I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. The game said they're all 18. I decided to humor her with the last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Okay, that was surprisingly quick. Alright, let's do Sayori. This is a good poem. Are you sure it's your first time? I kinda read I kinda wanna read my own poem. See what kind of Frankenstein monster I created with all those words. Of course, it's not that good. Am I the kind of guy who would be wait saw something move on my phone it's just the the replay of the stream am i the kind of guy who would be writing poems in this in his spare time i guess you're right but that's why it impressed me well to be honest i was kind i was afraid that you wouldn't do it seriously i think i remember sayori's poem something about breakfast or something about her being hungry. I think, I think I remember that. Or that you wouldn't write one at all. I'm really happy that you just wrote one. I. It just reminds me of how you're really a part of the club now. Don't remind me. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the, cl in the cl club room. Not classroom. Er, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? What are you talking about? How dare you accuse me of this? I am selfish! <laughs> Trying new things like this for other people. That's something that only really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. I'm not here to do no... to... Pfft. I'm not here to do no literature, I'm only here to get with some females. Then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means to her and all, yeah. And I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? And, wait, that will be my way of thanking you. Alright, I'm going to hold you to that then. Yay! Now, you'll read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> we'll see about that. That's a... Oh, jeez. At least I can read it this time. Dear Sunshine, The way I glow... Th Wait, the way you glow... How'd I get I from you? The way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me, kissing my forehead to to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look a bore. The sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. I, I kind of remembered the whole poem being about food. I guess I'm remembering wrong. And I see a car pull up. Yep, I see I see a car pull up. So my dogs might bark in a few seconds, a few minutes. This is just this is just a guess. But did you did you wait until this morning to write this? No, just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. What type of car? Um... That's a good question. I've seen this car before, I don't even remember it now. I think it's an Audi. A Hot Wheels car. Hilarious. Uh... I felt like I had a Hot Wheels car somewhere in here, I guess not. I forgot to do it last night. 
Well, the the least that makes me feel a at least that makes me feel a little better about myself. Don't be mean. I still tried my best. Uh, yeah. Let me look at that box art again real quick. Where'd I, where'd I put the box? Yeah, okay. I didn't mean to say that... Say that it was a bad poem. I, it came out nice. Or how should I put it? It's just... It sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. I made eggs and toast. <laughs> I got so much gas, I don't know why. Even though you were late to school, it's bad to skip breakfast. I get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. I know a bunch of people in high school who would not eat breakfast. I don't know why. Even if it's something small, I always eat something for breakfast. Sure, sometimes I eat it late, like maybe sometimes I eat breakfast at like 1 p.m., but it's still breakfast to me. Not on a school day, I mean. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Yo eat? What do you mean? What do you mean by that? <laughs> what do you mean you eat? Question mark. That was so much fun. Monica's the best. Uh, ah, yeah. But next time, I won't forget. I... <sighs> they're... <laughs> they're j just sneaking the line. Monica's the best, huh? I'm gonna write the best poem ever! Well, I guess I look forward to it. Breakfast, lunch, what's that? It's like that Caleb City video. Stop! What'd you just say you was doing? You said you was eating? <laughs> oh, you people are different. Back in my day, we don't eat! Remember that video? Well, I only got one option left. Hi! Having a great time so far? Uh, yeah. Good! Glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities, or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Great, let's install an, a big flat screen TV and we're gonna play Smash Brothers! Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Man, forget the books, we got video games galore! Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, let's turn this into a gaming club! Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, I want to share your poem with- uh, wait. Want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? Uh, but that sort of barrier that we- that we're all learned to wow let's try that again but it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon there we go that wasn't that hard and now you can hear my dogs bark I don't know if you can hear that it's kind of embarrassing if that was if that was uh included actually I think I gotta go soon because like I said today is my sister's birthday and we do have I think we have cake to eat and um it's uh right now for me it's 11 it's 11 38 p.m so I think we're gonna read this gonna finish showing Monica our poem and then I think I'll call it there how do I save this game by the way I hand Monica my poem mm-hmm great job I was going oh in my head while while reading it. It's ready ready. It's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for go for something so deep. I could go for something else that's hopefully deep stop. I guess I under underestimated you. It's easier for me to keep everyone's expectations low. That way, I always count it always counts when I put in some effort. Trust me, your your expectations low, I can still disappoint you. Aha, that's not very fair. Wait, I was saying that? Hold on. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know, you know that L Yuri likes that kind of writing, right? 
I can tell. Writing that's full of imagery and symbolism. Unlike Sayori, who likes using simple and direct words to describe happiness and sadness. Yuri likes it when readers are left to derive their own meaning out of it. It's very challenging to write like that effectively, both allowing people to get something out of it just, just by feel, or letting them deeply analyze all of the nuances. It can take years of practice, which I'm assuming Yuri has had at this point. I never really asked though. I'm sure I'm nowhere near her le her level yet. Don't worry about don't worry so much about that. You do your own thing. Just keep exploring and learn by trying new things. <coughs> I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I, I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little bit biased towards their own kinds of styles, but I always keep you keep you f but I'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like it's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. That's like the entire reason that I'm doing this. <laughs> We're both awkwardly laughing. It's not like that's the only reason you're writing this, yeah? <laughs> uh... Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. Hell no, that is a lie, and you know it. Stop capping. Talk about your poem's not that good. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I didn't read anything just now. I see. Well, let's read it then. Hole in wall. Okay. Hole in wall. It couldn't have been me. See the direction that spackle protrudes. A noisy neighbor? An angry boyfriend? I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside, f inside, inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel, blind, like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas. I always, every time I see the word retina, I always about to pronounce it retina. I already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. I almost said peppermint for some reason. It's just like a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It wasn't too deep. Stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. Oh my god, okay. I was about to say, I thought, I thought the, uh, the scroll bar was super long. It's not that long. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he, on the other side, was looking in. Cool. So what did you think? What do you think? Hmm, it's very freeform, if that's what you call it. How do I save in this game? Oh, there we go. I hit the plus, and then I do this. Okay. Sorry, I'm not really into the right... Wait, I'm not r really the right person to ask for feedback. Ah, ha, 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 it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can really... It can be really powerful. What was the impression behind this one? Uh, well, I'm not sure if you know how- if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that, because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, 
Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll read... You'll never make any progress. There was no read in that entire sentence. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. Don't think ink, don't think pens do that anymore. Because pens, don't they have like a little ball at the end, see? Uh, you can't see that. I have this pen right here. Well, you can sort of see it in a very blurry sense. Cool. So if you move your hand and go with the flow, that fell on the floor, by the way. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Phew. I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. I need to find a good place to stop. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club after all, and I made a huge mistake joining. Even though, you know, there's a lot to, lot that keeps me here. I guess that's what I end up getting into myself. Across the room, Sayori and Monica are happily chatting. My <coughs> Excuse me. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. Oh my god. They're gingerly exchanging sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As as they read in tandem, I watch each of them, each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. I have to pee so badly. What's with this language? Eh? Uh, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk where, with no, with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? Uh, I know that. I, I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have... Wait. You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um... Well, I do have a couple suggestions. Hmm. If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Sayori liked it. And Angus did too. Um, I, I guess I did say that. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long day establishing my writing style. I don't ex expected to change anytime soon, unless of course I come across something particularly inspiring. Which I haven't yet. Mm. And Angus liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. I almost said inspired. Natsuki suddenly stands up, just rage and stands up. Oh! I didn't realize you were invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Eh? You hear that boing sound? That's the what I... Uh... You... You're just... Yuri stands up as well. Completely enraged as well. How dare you make accusations like that? Maybe you're just jealous that Angus appreciates my advice more than he appreciates yours. Huh? And, I, and how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I... No. If I was full of myself... I would deliberately go out of my way to make- wait, yeah, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Um, is everything okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a bigger- a size bigger as soon as Angus started showing up. Uh, 
Uh, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you! And she just dashed. She's like, nope, I don't want none of that smoke. I don't like fighting, guys. Dust is falling. Suddenly, both girls turns towards me. They're just like... As if they noticed I was standing there. She, she's trying to make me look bad. That's not true. How can that be true? She, uh, what she just claimed, how can that make her look anything but bad? Wait. How can that not make her look... Hold on. That, d that would not make her look bad. I messed that all up. Whatever, that's being left in. I'm not gonna... Not gonna go through the hassle of editing that out. She started it. If she could go over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective... Anyone else get reminded of, like, a circus with this music? Then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point in making your poems all convoluted for no reason? <coughs> the meaning should jump out at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain it to her! W wait there's no reason to, uh, we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. Wait, there's a reason. Oh boy. I just got a tag. Let's see what it's about. It's the only way to convey ex complex feelings and meaning the most effective. Oh jeez. Let's see what let's see what he's about to say. Hold on. Are you texting? Let me see. Well, let's see what these guys are about to say. It's the only way to I already read that. Avoid avoiding them is not only unnecessary unnecessarily limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right? Um well, I've never had this happen to me before. I never had two girls fight over something and I be a topic in their conversation. I never had that before. At least not that I know of. I, I highly doubt if that ever happened, they would actually tell me about it. How do I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing. But whomever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. Oh boy, we got an executive decision here. So of course, it's going to be... I can't, I can't choose one or the other. I mean, I could! But, you know, I, I don't want to make one mad over the other, even though I know it's pointless. Help me, Sayori! N Natsuki! Natsuki glares at me, drying up any words I had in my mouth. She can do that with her glare. So instead, I turn to Yuri. Turn to Yuri. Yuri? But Yuri's expression is so defenseless that I can't bring myself to say anything to her. Sayori. Eh? Yeah? Yeah, everyone's fighting is making Sayori uncomfortable. How can the two of you keep fighting when you know you're making your friend feel like this? Well, that's her problem. <laughs> I missed the part where that's my problem. It's unfair for others to interject their own feelings on into our conflict. Yeah, unless Sayori wants to tell Yuri to s what a stick-up jerk she's being. She would never! It's your immaturity that made her upset in the first place. Excuse me? Are you listening to yourself? This is exactly why, exactly why nobody likes. Stop! Natsuki, Yuri, you guys are my friends. I, I just want to everyone to get along and be happy. My friends are wonderful people, and I love them because of their differences. Natsuki's poems, they're amazing because they give you so many feelings with just a few words. And Yuri's poems are amazing because they paint beautiful pictures in your head. Everyone's so talented. So why are we fighting? B because well, also, Natsuki's cute and there's nothing wrong with that. 
big and beautiful. Sayori. Sayori stands triumphantly. Monica stands behind her with a bewildered expression. I'll make some tea. Yuri rush, rushes off. Oh my god. This is only day two of being at this club and I already messed it all up. Natsuki sits down with a blank expression on her face, staring at nothing. I'm here for one day and I already caused a fight. So this is why Sayori is vice president. I whisper to Monica. She nods in return. To be honest... I might come off as a good leader, but I can uh, I can organize th things. But I'm not very good with people. I couldn't uh, even bring myself to interject. As president, that's kind of embarrassing to me. Nah, it's not like I can blame you. I wasn't being able to say anything. I wasn't able to say anything either. Well, I guess. That just means Sayori is amazing in her own way, isn't she? You can say that. She might be an airhead, but sometimes it's weirdly suspicious that she knows exactly what she's doing. I see. Take good care of her, okay? I would hate to see her get, her get herself hurt. That makes two of us. You can count on me. Monica smiles sweetly at me, causing my stomach to nod. Such a genuine person really does make a good president, regardless of what she says. If only I could get a glance. Wait, get a chance. I said glance. Get a chance to talk to her a little more. I said glance. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. Thank God. I've been on for, oh my god, almost two hours. How did you feel about sharing poems? Terrible, I caused a fight. It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was alright, well, mostly. How about you? I hated it! <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah, I'd say the same. Yeah, I've been live for like an hour and 57 minutes. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome! In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow- Oh god. What did I get myself into? And maybe you learn something from, from your friends too. So your poems will turn out even better. I think to myself, I did learn a little more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. I not Hey! I nod to myself with newfound determination. Thinking just like the character I'm playing as. Ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Sayori beams at me. It truly has been a while since Sayori and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Sayori, what about, wait, about what happened earlier? Eh? What do you mean? My leg is starting to cramp from sitting in this chair for almost two hours. You know, between Yuri and Atsuki, does that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no! That's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. I promise they're both wonderful people. Uh, you don't, you don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why they'd make good friends. Why they make good friends with you. Phew. You know, it's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club. But I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you too. That's... <laughs> Every day is going to be so much fun. Ugh. It looks like Sayori still hasn't caught on to the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but does it really need to stop there? We'll just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. Who's the best girl? Once again, I'll 
I'll give my opinion in due time. I pat Sayori on the shoulders. Shoulder. I said that... I said that more to myself than to her. But it's easy to, to use Sayori as an internal monologue sometimes. Okay. Yeah. Let's do this. What now? What now? Okay. okay. Next poem. Uh, I think this is a good time for me to save. Oh, there's autosave. Great. Okay, I saved here. Wow, exactly 12 a.m. All right, this is a good time for me to uh, uh, to call it for tonight. Yes, I already saved. Because I need to pee super badly, and I've been on for two hours. All right, I'll see you guys next time for when I do more of this. I can't really snap. Okay, bye.